some portion is still completed so that is a really good thing for you right now and i think you'll be able to uh, come to syllabus very easily you'll be able to go in the thorough study portion very easily now if you're someone who has not started the preparation yet uh, it is going to be a bit difficult but yes it is doable and uh, if you give your 100 percentage yes you can do it as well all right so it is for all those students all kind of students they can uh, do it yet and, and obviously guys you don't have any other option you have to prepare for it right there is no other option it's not like okay you don't do it you do it next month nothing like that you have to prepare right exams are there at the, uh, in the november end and you have to give those exams so you have to start preparing right so the first thing guys which will be starting is the study strategy what will be our strategy so again like uh, if in the if you'll see two month strategy video i have done the distribution of days in two ways one is preparation one is revision same thing will be doing over here as well 22 days for will be for your preparation and 8 days will be your revision very important guys to stick to this timeline that within 22 days you have to complete the syllabus no matter how much you have to study no matter how much you have to give extra efforts but you need to complete that because the remaining 8 days when you'll be doing the revision that's what is going to stay in your head and that's what will be generating confidence you confidence in you because once you have completed syllabus in the first 22 days when you start your revision you'll get more confident and you'll don't fear the exam right so three basic things guys for all the chapters i am talking right now especially about the maths first thing difficult chapters approximately 4 days you need to take all right moderate chapter approximately 2 days per chapter you know and easy chapter is one day for a chapter now maybe you may be a student who will say want to complete the maths all at once or you may be a student who will be completing three who is studying three subjects in a day so it depends upon that all right you can think of it as in the case of number of days you can keep it as hours you know so say 8 hours for uh, say 4 hours for a difficult chapter 2 hours for a medium chapter 1 hour for an easy chapter like that okay so it depends upon what is your strategy i am pro with both of them the main thing over here is what you need to complete first thing all important theorems you need to be thorough with all the important theorems their statement the results which they get if there is any converse existing for them all the formulas second thing sample papers different types of question mcq based you see all the questions all the sessions which we'll do over here we have done many mcq based uh, questions over here as well as the relevant questions from previous year papers now here you might not have previous year papers right but you have seen the cbsc sample papers you can practice those you can see the sessions over here you can practice those questions as well those will be your relevant questions all right so you can uh, start with the timetable and the timetable does not have to be uh, say uh, from uh, wake up at 5:30 5:30 to 6:30 do that not required main thing is fix the number of hours which you will be studying whether you will be able to give 4 hours a day or 5 hours a day or 6 hours a day whatever it is fix those and accordingly think that whether you want to study one subject like in 3 days you want to finish a subject and then move on for the other one or you want to be like two student uh, two subjects at a time one difficult one easy subject so that when you get bored with the difficult subject you can go ahead with the easy subject right so if you ask me what do i suggest i would suggest uh, don't go with a single subject because sometimes it becomes monotonous always go with this pair one difficult subject one easy subject start your day with the difficult subject and end your day with the easy subject theek hai so that like by the end of the day when your energy gets reduced when you feel tired easy subject you'll be able to understand that hai na but if you keep only one subject and suppose you are studying a difficult subject the night time you are not able to utilize it fully because your mind is tired and still uh, still you are forcing yourself to study with that 100 percentage concentration and yes it becomes sometimes difficult right so my uh, suggestion for all of you is start with two subjects one difficult one easy start your day with the difficult one end your day with the easier one so that you'll be able to utilize your whole day with more efficiency 
right now you may be say a morning learner you like to study uh, waking up early in the morning and then study or you may be a night owl right you want to study till the end of the night and then you sleep late right so it doesn't matter guys any any category you are in you can just go with it whatever you feel comfortable the only thing is required is key just before the examination try to get your uh, this 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 schedule balanced in such a way that at least you get 6 hours of sleep or 7 hours of sleep before the exam 6 hours 7 hours of sleep will be enough right theek hai all right uh, then checklist uh, so checklist like you can say that whatever subjects are there whatever chapters which chapters you have finished which chapters you find more difficult where it will require more time you'll have this idea in your head right so you can say ki okay this part is done if you are not able to understand any particular sub topic of a topic note it down ask it to your friends ask it to your teachers uh, or watch the sessions related to those topics on youtube we have done i have done each and every topic right so you'll get to know that which topic is not covered yet where you are missing that progress you'll be able to track the best or the most important thing during this one month will be to be consistent now maybe after feeling motivated after watching this session you might say continue two days straight huh? and you may give six hours and you are say studying at an enormous speed but what if after that you get tired you know you'll be like yeah if i'm able to do this much in two days i can easily study everything monday before the exam and that overconfidence is going to kill everything right so it's very important that remember give your 100 percentage but be consistent every day do little by little at least do something study make a plan in study in such a way that at least in 22 days you are able to finish your syllabus you are able to finish your syllabus remember that uh that story the tortoise and hare right so no matter it's so slow and steady wins the race that's what i hear it means being consistent right so just like prioritize your studies uh, no matter what happens no matter what is the work be it personal work now as well still in that case never uh, say put your studies on a hold you know never uh, never uh, put it uh, say never put anything else on a priority list compared to your studies you know right this is the time where you have to keep your study as your top priority list theek hai all right and sleep and diet obviously required because when you are healthy you will be able to say study uh, with more efficiency right it's not at all advisable ki study only say sleep only 2 3 hours a day and continue studying it's it's not worth it two or three days you might be able to manage but after that you will feel tired so sleep is required a proper healthy diet is required if possible half an hour one hour exercise and you know, anything it's okay keep it keep to keep your body healthy to keep your mind fresh right so yes guys that's all that was my tip 22 days for preparation and 8 days for your revision and that's what you need to do no matter what uh you need to put in for that how many hours it is required don't care about it just give your 100% that's what is required right now and you can get to your goal also guys one best course right now you can go for the description box and there uh, the link is given term one crash course guys after applying gpe pro code pro light will get at 2700 and pro classic at 3150 which is a really good deal right now and you can also be one of these students so definitely go for those courses GP Pro will be your code to get 10 percentage off. All right. So thank you so much, guys, for joining the session, and I hope you'll uh, you've learned something uh, new out of it, and you'll definitely follow this and let me know how it is going in the comment section. Right. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you soon. Till then, bye bye. Sayonara, friends. Happy to all of you. Bye bye.